All right, to determine if the point satisfies the equation, we need to remember that our ordered pairs, or our points, are always in the form x comma y. So our equation says y equals 4x minus 9. What we're going to do is take our point, we're going to substitute in these values in place of the variables, so our x is going to become a 2. I'm going to make this be a 2. I'm going to put parentheses just so I don't get confused with anything. And our y, I'm going to make it become a negative 1. So I get a negative 1 equals, and now I need to remember to bring everything else down. So I'm going to bring down the 4 and the minus 9. So I have a negative 1 equals 4 times 2 minus 9. 4 times 2 is 8. I'm going to bring everything else down. Negative 1 equals 8 minus 9. Well, 8 minus 9, I'm going up 8 and down 9. They're going in different signs, so I'm going to subtract. So 9 take away 8 is 1. Am I going more up or more down? I'm going more down, so it's a negative 1. So does a negative 1 equal a negative 1? Yes, it does. So this point satisfies the equation. That means this point is a solution. If we were to graph this, the point would be on the line of that equation. All right. Does the point satisfy the equation? In this case, we are given 4 fifths x minus 3y equals 20, and the point to check is 10 comma 7. So we need to remember that our points are always in the form x comma y. So when we're checking to see if the point satisfies the equation, we're going to take this point and plug it into our variables, into our x and our y. The x is going to become 10, and the y is going to become 7. So I'm going to rewrite, except for where I will leave out the variables. We have 4 fifths x, but I'm not going to put x. Instead, I'm going to say it's 10, and then we have a negative 3 times y, but instead of y, I'm going to put 7, and this equals 20. So now I need to deal with the uh, parentheses. I could say 4 times 10 and divide that by 5, or I could say, well, 5 goes into 5 and 10. 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 10 two times, so 4 times 2 divided by 1. That gives me an 8. And then we have a negative times a positive, so we have a negative. 3 times 7 is a 21. And this maybe does it equal a 20. That's what we have to determine. So 8 minus 21. We're going up 8 and down 21. That feels like subtraction. So 21 minus 8, have to borrow. 11, take away 8, is a 3, and we bring down the 1. So now we're posed with the question, is 13 equal to 20? Nope, 13 is 13 and 20 is 20. These two numbers will never be the same. So we would say that the point 10, 7, or 10, 7, is not a solution, or that the point 10, 7 does not satisfy the equation, or that if we were to graph it, when it's graphed, um, the point 10, 7 does not fall on the line.